Hi there, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today, timing lights. A stroboscopic or timing light is used to determine at exactly what angle a spark event is occurring. In order to do this, there needs to be a known timing mark, so we're gonna use zero degrees for this example, on the spinning part of the harmonic balancer or cam gear, as well as a fixed mark on the engine or a backing plate. When the light flashes and these marks are aligned, we know that the engine is firing at zero degrees. But keep in mind, if the light's being aimed at the crankshaft, we can't determine if the engine's firing on the compression or the exhaust stroke, because our example's a four-stroke engine. However, if we shine the timing light at the camshaft where possible, we can determine ignition angle and firing stroke. This can be handy when we're trying to get an engine to run for the first time. But first, how do we get the timing light to flash? A timing light requires power, so it normally has a couple of batteries inside or some clamps to use the engine's 12 volt power supply. It's also got an inductive clamp. This is the part that clips over a, spl a spark plug lead in order to trigger the light. But what if you don't have any spark plug leads, I hear you asking? Well, there's a few tricks here. You can attach the clip over the ignition output between the ECU and the ignition module, or you can remove a single coil and plug setup from the engine and add an old spark plug lead between the coil and the spark plug. Or you can hold the clip open and kind of make it like bite the top of a coil and plug setup. Use whatever method works best on the engine you're working with. If you're having trouble getting a timing light to fire consistently or, or at all, try increasing the gap the spark's jumping. Not too big or you'll risk damaging the coil. Uh, and keep in mind, the spark doesn't even need to be firing into a cylinder. You could be cranking the engine and have the spark jumping a five millimeter gap to a screwdriver or something like that. There's actually a spark tester tool, which could come in handy if you find yourself doing this a lot. It's a threaded rod that's grounded on one end and the others attached to the high output of the coil. You just adjust the threaded rod to achieve whatever gap makes the timing light flash. Another thing to look out for is the type of timing light you're using, dial back or fixed. Dial back timing lights have a knob or programmable display which allows you to delay the flash in order to line up the timing marks. Then you can read the ignition angle off the light's display based on the delay time it took for the marks to line up. For whatever reason, dial back timing lights are consistently adding confusion and we recommend using a cheap, simple, fixed timing light to avoid any of this confusion. Well, I hope that shone a little light on the subject. I'll see you next week.